Good morning YouTube. It's Friday and it's freezing, freezing, and I'm wearing shorts. I'm going to show you something epic. You take one double sausage name at Muffin Mill. You take one hash brown. You know what I'm doing. You know it makes sense. Oh baby, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Let's start the video. We have two jobs. First one, outdoor socket. On my way there now, ETA, two minutes. Second job, garage. So they're both relatively nice jobs. They're not like an indoorsy, you know, look out for the paintwork type job. It's a garage, it's a garden, so not too bad. Garden job, went there, quoted it. Uh, there's, it's gonna be like a back-to-back -back socket jobby, apart from I've got to drop a bit of tube down the wall. Went there, tested it, got ring continuity, bish bash bosh, it should be fun. I'm going to extend the ring, I'm going to put two points outside because they're going to want to pond at some point in the future. Two, job number two is garage. Garage, replace, relocate light fitting, relocate switch, and instate two outdoor lights either side of the garage door. It's those up downy toilet tube looking lights. Okay, so the plan on this job is I'm going to be installing two sockets, well, a double socket over here, and just next to it we're going to put a fused spur, which will be feeding that wall feature. We're going to come down the wall, just about here or somewhere is a double socket on the other side of the wall. We're going to come down in a bit of tube, one box, other box, bish bash bosh done got to show you this view. Now I don't know if you can hear the birds singing but believe me they are singing this morning and that's, that's amazing isn't it look at that for a view. I'm sorry if my camera isn't that good but you can just see for miles and there's a nice field over there and you can see all the trees on the horizon it's lovely. So it would appear that this RCBO does the extension which is going to be doing the garden socket, which is fantastic because whenever you used to stick it on a dual split load board, if there was a fault outside, which can occur because obviously it's outside, there's water, there's, there's more, you're more prone to having a earth leakage fault when you're doing stuff outside, you would lose 50% of the consumer unit. But because it's on its own RCBO, you're only going to lose the extension, so it's not too bad. So anyway, I'll, I'll lock that off and uh, I'll hang this socket off. I'm quite fortunate because it's a surface matted plastic box. I've got a McDonald's sticker on my thumb now. It's a plastic box, it's not metal, so don't have to worry about trying to knock out a, um, I don't know what you call it, a knockout, knock out a knockout on a, on a metal flush box and then trying to get a grommet in, which is always a little bit tricky when there's brickwork on the other side. So um, I don't have to worry about that. It's going to be quite easy to drill out. I don't want to get a blowout on the other side of the brickwork. That, that generally happens as a blowout, is when you drill through brick, as the drill emerges on the other side of the wall, it can take a little bit more of the brick away than you would, than you would like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through with a very small pile of bit, and then I'll I'll probably drill back this way with a slightly bigger bit after I've done that. Plus, it will keep a lot of the mess on the other side of the wall. I've got a big boy, and I've got a pile of bit, so hopefully it shouldn't cause too much damage. I'm finally through as you can see. And if you look here, this is what I was referring to as a blowout. It, it takes a, a portion of the front of the brick off, but um, it's not too bad. And it's in all this ivy. So we're gonna try and hide a lot of the stuff that we do so it's not too unsightly on this wall. Because to be fair, it's, it's an absolutely beautiful garden. And the last thing they wanna see is bits of conduit going down the wall. So I'm gonna try and keep it hidden within the ivy, which isn't gonna be easy, especially when it comes to doing my markings. Now I just need to try and get my head around how I'm going to come out of here. I'm thinking 
a bit of tube straight into the back of a whisker box and then I'll come down the wall. The plan is to come straight down into the double socket. It's going to be a ring circuit so I can then spur off of it or just extend the ring when it's easiest into a few spur of the same make. I'm going to join them up using drum roll using a nipple there's actually a nipple in there believe it or not a piranha nut and some uh, lock rings but you'll see that in a minute the plan as it stands is I'm going to push this through the wall because I drilled the hole slightly bigger than 20 mil, I can get this adapter through I'm then going to butt it up to the socket on the other side of the wall and put this uh, this portion of the female adapter in to hold it in place I'll cut that to measure, I want it to protrude ever so slightly so that it can go through my whisker box which I've cut a hole in the back I'll be honest, whisker, sort it out the, the amount of things I install where I need to bring cables into the back of this just because it would look horrible and hideous if I was to try and enter it through the sides like I'll give you an example, an outside light you know, you'll have a bit of twin and earth coming through the wall you'll come straight into the back of this and then you'll come out the bottom in a stuffing gland and a bit of flex that goes into the floodlight that's, it's just typical, it's what I use it for, but you have no back entry. You know, devise something, make make some sort of IP rated back entry for a whisker box, because it's it's long overdue, mate. But anyway, that's the plan. I'm going to bring it into here, and I'll probably just have to put some um, silicon around it just to improve the IP rating. Okay, now this is where this pen comes in handy. Definitely a must have if you haven't got one. Ready? Got to listen for the noise. Beautiful. Sank in the back of the van's leaked. And it's gone over. The, it's gone all over me. Cheap of silicon. I don't know what it is though. I'll have to have a little look in a minute. Okie dokie then. So what I'm gonna do is I've I've done some fixings into the wall 
and it's a little bit unusual I've not done this before but I've actually spaced the sockets off of the wall just to get it in front of the ivy I don't want to be the reason that all the ivy dies so I don't want to start cutting it all out and so I've, I've put some little spaces behind in the form of uh, 20 mil conduit I've just I've just cut about half an inch and I've stuck it on every single fixing now regardless of whether I've done that or not I will generally I will generally fill up the fixing holes I think I might have done this on another video you can just put a screw in these fixing holes and it does come with these little black fix them in the packet is these little black stoppers but they tend to fall out to be fair so I don't think they're really worth their money I would rather just put a bit of silicon in there at least I know it ain't, nothing's coming in there nothing's coming in at all and you probably can't see it because the angle of the camera but there is actually a little drain hole in the bottom corner of each socket now they are weatherproof they're IP rated but nothing's perfect the water's always going to get in there one way or another it might be uh, it might take a few years but eventually something's going to get into the socket and it's never going to be able to get it back out again so they've got these little drain holes in the corner so you can drill a little hole down there and if anything does get into the socket it will just come straight back out the bottom so let me just fill these up now this is the sort of job you always do right at the end because it is messy so run it around each screw I've put little washers on them as well because it just spreads the load you know it's in a garden it's probably going to get a few whacks I don't want it to come flying off the wall especially in cold weather when the plastic's a bit brittle I can spread the surface area of the screw head there's less chance it's going to happen so yeah it's getting messy already you always start off with the best intentions when it comes to silicon in and by the end of it it's everywhere All right. I'm happy with that Make sure the flange, flange has lined up all the way around. Sometimes, if the wall's a bit pissed, yeah, the old socket won't go on properly. I'm happy with that. I think I need to get myself a wet wipe to I'm just all the grease that's on my end. I'm just smearing it over the socket. But there you go, finished result. Doesn't look too shabby, does he? Number two, in a garage. So here's the story. Single socket outlet, bit of one mil coming up, comes along, feeds a pull cord, feeds a dodgy light fitting. I'm installing that. I'm gonna ripple that crap out. There's a radio that comes in. Look, as you can see, there's only one cable coming in off the locker. I think it's a 16 or a 20 amp breaker. I'm gonna put another box somewhere with a fuse in it so I can de-rate this circuit properly. I'm then going to uh, install a timer which also has a fuse built into it which is going to do some outdoorsy lights. Look at that beautiful van over there. Now will one light. One light here, one light there. Toilet tubes. I've made a start putting some saddles up for my flexi conduit. But I've got a bit of a mind blank. I'm sort of just running out of energy right now and it's Friday and I don't know, maybe I just haven't had enough sleep, but I need to talk this out. So what are we gonna do? We've got a power coming in here. We're gonna have a socket there. I need to break out of that so I'm gonna have a socket. Let's put the, both the few spurs there. Socket, both the few spurs, bish bash bosh, that's that portion sorted. The few spur of the timer will need to come up and go straight across all right, so I'm going to do a separate set of saddles for that that's fine up, along there's a bit of timber right at the end, so down, back up again along, down, and that'll be the final one okay, that's sorted I'm going to have to do I'm going to have to do two separate rows of saddles coming up, aren't I? unless I can put a box up here, but I haven't got any on the van so it's going to have to be two separate sets of saddles coming up Okay, and then if I bring a feed up along and then down to here, 
Do you know what? If I had a box up there, that'd solve a lot of problems. That'd solve a hell of a lot of problems. I could just bring two feeds up. One would be on the timer. Oh, God, let me check the van. Oh, I ain't got jack shit on the van, so I'm going to have to go to the old solar. I'm going to put a whisker box up there. It's going to be a lot easier. I'm going to run one cable down here, along the joists. I'm going to put a whisker box up there. I'm going to bring in one, two, three, four cables. I'm going to bring, well, four conduits. I'm going to bring one from down there up here. It's going to have two cables in it. It's going to have a, one on the old uh, fuse spur and one on the timer. Up to the whisker. Then it's going to spur off down to my light switch. And it's going to come along. Well, two of them are going to come along. One's going to whiz straight there to the end. And he's going to do the two outside lights. And one's going to come along here and do this light. So I'm going to have to shoot off at some point and give myself a whisker box. Any electrician will tell you there is nothing worse than trying to fit one of these lights on a pebble dash wall. Nightmare. Alright, it's Friday, it's it's nearly four o'clock. There's some chippies on site, they've got the key to the job. And then they don't want to work late, so I'm I'm really against the clock here. I'd have to shoot off to go to the L so I can get myself a, and get like a whisker box. So I can put those conduits into it. It's, it's annoying, it's one of the bad things about this industry, being a Sparks, that it just takes one little item that you don't have and it can hold the whole job up because there's no alternative, there's no way around it, sometimes it just, it just holds the job up, it's really annoying, but it is what it is. I think I figured out how to do it now, hold for three seconds, 2018, check it out, look. Sweeping up. Don't see this every day, do you? Sparky with a broom. Pretty good with it as well. And I'm only using one end. So the garage is finished. Are these either side of the door? Don't look too shabby. Got some Flexicon coming down. Well, Flexicon going everywhere, to be fair. Down to the switch. To the whisker box. That's me, uh, boxes over here. So we've got a timer. Oh, there we go. Timer, figure out side lights. We've got a few spurs. Purely just to direct the inside one. That does that. So the customers wired this up. You flick the switch, everything goes bang. We all know what he's done. He's put all the blacks together and all the reds together. So uh, I'm gonna turn this off and see what's going on inside. Are you ready? What have we got? Uh, not too, where's the earth? Can we cut the earth out? I don't know, up to there. there you go. It's only a metal fitting, mate. <laughs> I don't know what he's done. Yeah, all the reds together, all the blacks together. All right, so this is how it should be. Uh, loop, neutral, live, switch line anyway. There you go, job's done. And it's home time now. The wife's met us from the train station. <laughs> We're gonna go pick up our daughter now. So uh, thanks for watching. Ow. Dummy foot with the door. Say goodbye to YouTube. Bye.